Hello and welcome to Fresh Perspectives. My name is Gail and my guests today are Karen Simmons and her husband Al Simmons. They are the owners of the, um, the restaurant in Mayville called Music for Your Mouth. Uh, thank you for appearing on Fresh Perspectives yeah, today. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Now, um, now you're a veteran, Al. Um, what branch of the service were you in? I was in the Army. I spent 10 years in the Army. I uh, joined in as infantry and I switched over and worked on Apache helicopters. I was deployed several times to Kuwait and Bosnia, Korea, and Iraq before I got out. And I decided that I was gone so much, I wanted to try to enjoy being a civilian a little bit too. So. Oh yeah, yeah, you need some of that in oh, your yeah. life, don't you? <laughs> yeah. um, okay, Karen, uh, now you're a violinist. You wanna, have you always, uh, how old were you when I you- I started, started playing the violin in fourth grade. Oh, Actually, wow. I started piano lessons in second grade. Oh, okay. And then I, in school, we had um, an orchestra, so I started violin lessons in school in fourth grade, so. I play the violin and the piano, and mm -hmm. I play first violin in the Warren Philharmonic, and also in the Chattacoin Chamber Ensemble, oh, okay. and then I teach. Okay, so, yeah. that's good. Now, how long have the two of you been married? Seven years, in seven, April oh, it'll be oh, seven years. So, you weren't married when he was in the service? No, nope, we were not. So you're kind yep. of practically newlyweds. Yeah, yeah newlywed. sure. <laughs> okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, when did you move to this area? Weren't you living somewhere else? Yeah, I grew up in Kane, and then I raised my children in Smithport, Pennsylvania. And then in June of 2020, I sold my home and moved to Bemis Point, where we had a home there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, um, now, what caused you guys to decide to open a restaurant? Well. Well, I always loved to cook, and everybody that I've ever cooked, I've, since I was 10 years old, I was cooking for my mom and my brothers and sisters, and when I was in the military, I was not a cook, but I always cooked for all my friends, and uh, even in, when I was in Iraq, I actually bought a little grill, and I would have steaks for, flown over there, and I would I'd be out in the desert and make steaks. I just love to cook. Everybody's always told me I should have a restaurant because my food's so good. We'd have big family uh, parties. Yeah, we'd have do all parties, the cooking. And and people, yeah. and I'd be cooking. One of the first times she asked me to cook steaks for the family and said, sure, just tell me the day before how many I need. And it was 42 people. So, <laughs> they so all wanted to come. To for, <laughs> yeah, we had a pool party. So <laughs> but, uh, but no, I love to cook. Everybody always said I wanted to, and she's always wanted to have a coffee shop. And yeah. you know, about, you a, about 16 years ago, uh -huh. um, I bought a coffee shop. Oh, you did? Yes, next was, to was my music in, in Pennsylvania. Board? Yep. The, and at the very in? end of the paperwork, the woman owed several thousand dollars in back taxes. Oh. So I rescinded the offer, but my heart was broken because I really wanted to have a coffee shop. So you, it was, but you couldn't be responsible yeah, exactly, for, somebody's for somebody back else's taxes. back taxes. Right. But it was fine, it all worked out. Right. I Since then I met Al right after that, and then um, I had enough room in my home to move my music studio into my home, mm -hmm. so it was it all worked out. But mm -hmm. I really wanted you know, to have that uh, coffee shop. Yeah. And Al always has said he's gonna have a restaurant and call it Big Al's Chicken and Waffles. Just as, so Big Al's just as a, Chicken yeah. and Waffles. Yeah, just as kind of a joke. Well, that yeah. isn't yeah. exactly yeah. how it turned no, out. No. Right. No. So then when we, um, <laughs> you know, it's always just kind of been in, in my heart to have a coffee shop. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah. I was Yeah, I, I noticed that you gave me a funny look uh, yeah. one time. Um, well, it was back in October. I came in to have lunch because uh -huh. somebody had given me a gift certificate sure. to your restaurant. Mm -hmm. At that point, up to that point, point in time, I thought it was still a Mexican restaurant. Okay. I hadn't even noticed. Yeah. And uh, so I came in and uh, I ordered what I, the sandwich I was going to have. And then you were talking about beverages, and you go, "All of all of our coffees are right here." And I go, "I go." Um, well, actually, I don't drink coffee. You drink tea, <laughs> and yeah. you looked at me really funny. Yeah, you funny. drink tea. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but I can't. I I can't handle. Um, it's something about my particular body type or something. I can't handle things like caffeine and okay. alcohol and things like that. Okay. So yeah. So I'm definitely just a water and herbal tea person. Yeah, that's all right. We have <laughs> we got that a, too. We got all yeah. that stuff. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the good things about our place too is we like we have a little bit of something for everybody. For you know, everybody. We have yeah. Vegan options, gluten free. We have tea, coffee. You know, a little bit of 
a little bit of everything for anybody that's you know trying to and that's the when, but it's unique stuff it's stuff that we create ourselves from scratch and it's really you know even like her coffee drinks every day she comes up with a new coffee drink her and the girls are doing it this morning they were coming mm -hmm. up with a name for a coffee drink that they were going to create that was going to be different so that's mm -hmm. pretty neat yeah we um and how we ended up in mayville um after I moved to, I moved to Bemis right in the middle of the pandemic. Oh, and yay. And then we spent the summer <laughs> kind of on the boat because you could only be around each other. Mm -hmm. And then in September of 2020, I was in a bad car accident. Oh. So I was laid up for quite a while. And Ooh. then in March last year, almost one year ago exactly, March 23rd, um, I went to the post office in Bemis and noticed that they have a new coffee shop there. And I came home and I said, well, we missed a chance. So they already mm -hmm. have a coffee oh. shop in Bemis. And Al said, let's go for a drive. So we came through Mayville, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. These people are drinking gas station coffee. There's nothing. And the mm -hmm. town where I raised my kids was also the county seat. So Mayville was very right. familiar, just felt very familiar with the courthouse mm -hmm. and the Victorian homes and the jail. And when we drove past the spot that we're in now, I said, I'll pull the truck over. That's like that. Look at that patio. So I looked in the window, and we kind of could see in the back that there may be a kitchen. So I went next door to the liquor store and asked the worker there, tell me a little bit about the building. So he did, and he told me who to contact. And then I went in the bank and asked the same question, and they told me the exact same thing. Like, so, do anything. Yeah, be please, just Chinese, put in the Chinese anything, restaurant, anything, whatever there, so. you can do, we would, we would love it. <laughs> so we went um, and found the property manager of the property, and just one thing mm -hmm. led to the next. We literally went home, and I said, well, when I'm an old woman, I want to have a grilled cheese food cart on the beach. So I said to Al, we have to come up with a name, but it can't be the one that's going to be my grilled cheese food cart. We can't do that. So he's like, you know, too bad we couldn't come up with something with music because of me being a musician. Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't know, like music for your ears or music for your mouth or music. And I said, what? And he what said, you know, it? something musical. And I said, so no, what food, after yeah. that? What did you say after that? I said, the food's so good, it'll make your taste buds sing music for your mouth. You know. Oh, and I was okay. like, oh okay. my gosh, that's okay. it. So yeah. we just literally ran with it. Wow. And by the end of the week, we had a we had an LLC, LLC and, and yep. yeah, all the things. You so. know, when I acquired this television program, I couldn't even think of anything. I was supposed to come up with a name, and everything that I thought of sounded so stupid. And <laughs> finally, um, a couple of friends, uh, one of them, the husband, being some the one who got the program for me, mm -hmm. uh, they came up with some. Uh, ideas okay. for about half a dozen different ideas and uh, so I picked Fresh Perspectives because that was the one that I liked the best yeah. of the ones good. they It has to with, speak so. to you for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, right. definitely. So we just had yeah. like the logo and my, he said we could make like a big violin with piano keys and yeah, that's we, plays the violin, the violin and piano violin are my main did, two yeah. instruments so yeah, yeah and then we you know we because we're food people and we have been blessed with being able to travel quite a bit. We already knew some groundwork things. Everything right. had to be fresh ingredients, no added, you know, no preservatives, mm -hmm. and we wanted to use all natural things, source as much locally that we could. Um, a lot more in the summertime. We do all local with the farm, the local farms Pro, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like and produce stands. Course, yeah, yeah, of course, the beef I get from my friend in Randolph, it's, he's um, Nate Rutt, he's the, one of the only grass-fed certified Angus beef farmers around. Uh, really good stuff. Um, and then every the supplier that we had around, I said, I want your best products. And they were like, no, you don't, because the best products cost more. And I'm like, no, I yeah, really we're do. We're going to make it work. It's this is important you know, to us. Quality. People are going to appreciate it, and yeah. they'll come back more often, and then it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah. So yeah. we started off coffee shop, breakfast sandwiches, couple breakfast, and lunch. And then I said, oh, but Al, what about your sausage gravy? Because he does mm. that from scratch specialty. So we added that. And then I thought, oh, I want to add a Power Bowl to the lunch menu. So we just slowly started adding things. And then our customers were like, you guys need to do dinner. You should really do dinner. If you mm -hmm. could do dinner like your lunch. And we're like, no, no, that's a restaurant. We don't want to be open past that. Mm -hmm. We want to close at 2 o'clock yeah. and be on with our lives. So people kept asking. And then I said, we should hire a chef. So we did. And <laughs> it's just kind of well, you know, gone um, from there. We had... Uh, relatives from my husband's side of the family staying with us. They just left to go back to Florida on Friday, okay. yesterday mm -hmm. morning. And um, they, it happened to, it just happened to be last Sunday. Uh, we had been down visiting 
Bemis Point area mm -hmm. re re uh, relatives from my husband's mm -hmm. side of the family in the afternoon on Sunday. And that just, Sunday night just happened to be uh, the night that the visitors wanted to treat us to um, dinner at a restaurant. Well, we, uh, we called all of the restaurants in the Mayville area. Um, everybody was closed. Uh, the only one we could find, but we would have eaten at Music for yeah. Your Mouth right. Sunday night if you, right. but I, I figured it was gonna be hard to find a restaurant open right. um, because it was a Sunday evening in the winter. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, so that's uh, the main, yeah, that's the main thing for us, supply and demand. Like in the summertime, we extend our lunch hours, we can do more things, but the, the one thing we do is we, we look for a pattern. So if we're open certain times and we got five or six people that are working and there's nobody coming in, then we gotta, we're not gonna work those hours, you know, until mm -hmm. we can get right, more, right. more people around. So that's one of the things, Sundays, she would mentioned doing a brunch, you know, different things like that, but it's all about the workers too, you know, because mm -hmm. you gotta have the right people that will right. show up to work and then right. enough people to show up to, to yeah. make it worthwhile too. Yeah, these re these relatives are are from uh, my husband's sister lives in Tampa, and her son and his girlfriend live mm -hmm. in Miami. And I suppose their they're stuff open. Oh, all sure, the time. they're probably used they to are, having things you know, available, espe and open. especially in the winter because right. so many people from go here travel. go yeah. there. Yeah. Right. So yeah. um, that's why we were having. Um, so much tr uh, uh, trouble, and they, they were being very persistent about mm -hmm. it. They kept calling around, and yeah. well, finally we went to a, a, a restaurant over in Westfield. Okay. But, um, yeah. well, but anyway, so they didn't uh, get a chance to get in and try any of your well, food. Well, maybe come they back. come back maybe again. They're, yeah. they're planning, they'll, sure. they'll right. be visiting from time to time, good. so we can get them in there some good. other We'd time. Yeah. Well, yeah. the good thing is because the summertime, we have so many people from everywhere. We have fans from all over the place. We have people from California, people from Texas, people from Pittsburgh, Cleveland that email us and message us all the time on Facebook. Yeah. Make sure we're doing good. We can't wait to get back there. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, that's so. because so many people come from all over, right. uh, yeah. over right. the country. Right. Uh, in the summer months uh, to visit the Chautauqua Institution and um, uh, even from foreign countries oh, yeah. in right. the summer. Right. So, yeah. so um, you just never know, uh, you just never know uh, well, who's gonna, gonna come in. Right. That's right. It might be a movie star. I met yeah. one over there. Okay. I, there was somebody, the year my mother died, there was a movie star that did something nice for me when he heard me talking about my mother having oh, just passed wow. away. So. So that you was never know. Of, yeah, my, yeah. I hope this year to get in contact with like the director at the institution that does the guests that come for musical things. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. I think it would be really cool. We could feature them at Music for Your mm -hmm. Mouth, kind of connect mm -hmm. that part, you know, the institution mm -hmm. with our restaurant, and maybe provide something mm -hmm. fun. I know, you know, last year when Cheryl mm -hmm. Crow specifically, I don't know why she's coming to mind, but she was there and she has a song called "Soak Up the Sun." So we did a soak up the sun latte mm -hmm. and you know that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna reach out to the institution for this season oh, good, and see if good. we can make a connection there. Yeah, you know, yeah. Good. You know, last year so. we were really figuring things out because like I've never, I've, I've cooked in a few kitchens when I was younger and cooked at home, but I've never really run a commercial kitchen. Yeah, it's different. So I had to figure it out. So I, would, I invited family and friends first to come in and gave them a free meal so I could practice. And then I invited people all around the town that worked in town to come in just so I could get used to it. And, and we didn't advertise a lot because we wanted to get good like before we, we got too busy. Open. Yeah. But mm -hmm. really, I mean, people knew, as soon as we, the first day we opened, we had 110 people from the courthouse come over pretty much. That, so yeah. that, that, that happens. Is, yeah. Yeah. That happens right. sometimes. Uh, yeah. you, you get surprised. Right. Yeah. You yeah. open a restaurant and it turns we out it's just what everybody's been right. wanting. Yeah, well, it just sure. for me, I, I mean, it's amazing the friendships that we've made oh, yeah. and the people that we've seen make connections from being in our restaurant, yep. you know, the people that met. We did um, a New Year's Eve event mm -hmm. and um, I did, I s went out on a limb and did communal dining because we've been to New Year's Eve parties where it is, you sit with mm -hmm. people that you don't really know. Oh, so I okay. said we wanted to kind of replicate that in our restaurant and it was a smashing yeah. success. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. People, Normally people you know, do by themselves, not know who to talk to. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, it, it, is, it is nice to, uh, get acquainted with people right. that you don't already right. know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, my the, my brother was in this certain class in school, and his 
the classmates that live locally have been eating breakfast yep. at your mm -hmm. restaurant. Right. They come the first Saturday of every month. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They had done a couple of other restaurants in the area before they were doing it at Music for Your Mouth. Uh, they were um, they were uh, at a couple of the other restaurants and back in 2020, 2021, I was helping a disabled person um, and uh, who otherwise from that class, he had been in that class in okay. school. And so I decided I would get him out to their breakfasts uh, and uh, just for a few months because he wound up moving to a nursing home oh. after a few months. But um, I just figured, well, it would be nice if he could get together with his old high school classmates. Right. And, you know, pretty much his social life was the people that lived in the apartment building that he lived in. So um, I even took him to his high school class, re 50th class reunion. Nice. So um, anyways, uh, so the, I, I knew about it because of my brother being in that class. Mm -hmm. So not, now, uh, even though I'm not helping that classmate of theirs anymore, they, they uh, invite me well, to good. come when I can. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's why I didn't have very much to eat that morning. But well, I you was had to there be a here. couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Was I, I couldn't eat something that was going to take quite a while to eat sure. because... Uh, there because I had to be up here because I had somebody to interview that Saturday. Right. But um, but um, yeah, they apparently must like uh, music for your mouth because they've been there more than once. Right. How many times have they been there? Well, I think their first July. time was um, July. July. Think, last year, right. they came. They started in July, and I think right. they've only they've come every month except one. I one think one month they didn't. They went somewhere yeah. else and came back. Yeah. We've had several groups like that. We have a group of swimmers that come yeah, every Saturday swim, from the institution. The ducks, yeah, There's coach. A, like anywhere from ten to fifteen people, sixteen people that come, and then a lot of um, people come uh, birthday parties. We've had you know Christmas parties. We had a lot of yeah, them, a lot but of Christmas we have parties. a lot of just groups. That, there's a couple of gentlemen that come you know on the weekends every morning and they get a piece of toast and, and a couple of pieces of bacon and they just sit there and chit chat and have coffee. So we've gotten that. We've, we're trying to create a space where the people want to come and relax and just, you know, be a part of it, you know, so it's good. Yeah. Right. I guess they had started these group breakfasts at the Mayville Diner, mm -hmm. but you know what happened yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah, we heard. Um, then they, they've been around to a couple of other restaurants and now music for your mouth. Um, I'm sure they, well, you know, it all started that a couple of the ladies had been at the diner to have coffee with each other uh, one morning, and then a couple other classmates had come in, right. so they were visiting with each other and somehow wound up turning into a, um, a monthly thing. That's really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Some of them, I think, some of them actually, I think there's one couple that lives in Amherst or something like okay. that, okay. comes down, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a couple, let me see, um, there's a couple, let's see, I'm trying to think, yeah, there's somebody, f there's a couple from Rochester, I think it is, that nice. come down That's every cool. once in a while for their breakfast, so. Yeah. Um, one of the things, the thing that I really like the most about you is um, I'm a vegan, and you have mm -hmm. vegan options yes. at your restaurant. So um, I remember having a wrap sandwich. Yeah, there. it's called the medley veggie wrap. The medley veggie mm -hmm. wrap. Right. Yes. Medley with a musical right uh, kind of a tie. Yeah, yes, good yes. that you picked that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's uh, there's another one that I haven't tried. We on, have on your yeah. Lunch. It's, it's lunch. called yeah we yeah. have well we have um, a Mediterranean sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's a portobello mushroom, fire roasted tomatoes, grilled artichokes. We have regular cheese or plant based cheese, mm -hmm. and it's done oh, on. Oh, you do have, have the plant based cheese. Yeah. cheese. Yes, we do. Oh, yes. oh, so. you know, Ann Dinshaw would have loved you back uh, several years ago before the um, before the pandemic. Uh, she was having my husband and I help uh, with putting on showcase uh, dinners. Okay. They were mainly in, in Fredonia because she's a part-time uh, Fredonia resident. She has 
a home in Fredonia. Okay. But, um, but I remember every once in a while, uh, she would I get a phone call from her and she'd say, what are you and Carol doing um, at such and such a date and time? Okay. So right away I would know, okay, she wants us to come for a food te okay. testing right. at, one of the, at the restaurant. She's getting ready to put on another one of her dinners. Mm -hmm. so. But she would have loved you because you are willing to carry the Oh yeah, the plant-based I mean, sure. cheese alternative, right. it's important to us. and uh, because she, well, she was having a terrible time. She was trying to find a place that had pizza. She was having a terrible time trying to find mm -hmm. somebody uh, that specialized in pizza to have the plant-based cheese for right. their pizzas. Yeah. We have that. We have. The other thing too is we have a we have a lot of gluten free options as well because mm -hmm. a lot of people are, have mm -hmm. you know the celiac disease and other different things. Right, are gluten intolerance, but we have like one of the things we do we have flatbreads that we make, but we also have a, a sweet potato based flatbread that's gluten free. Um, and we have one lady that came the first day we opened. She said and she said that we promised her that if she comes here, like when we when you come in, they're gluten free. We put different gloves on. We use a special pan. And we mm -hmm. cook your sandwich in a different the place toast and doesn't everything. Go through so the toaster. goes in the oven. So we take great care. And she said that we promised her the first day that she came that she would not get sick if she ate at our restaurant. She said she's been here 50 times. She told us the other day, 50 "This is my times? 50th yeah, time, she's 50 and I've not been sick wow. one time." She yeah. said, "You guys were. You guys told me the truth." And this is the first place I've ever been that I can say that about. So we were pretty yeah, happy. Yeah, we, we've you had know, a couple times with gluten-free <clears throat> things. I had a dad call the restaurant yeah. and ask to speak with me directly. And he has two daughters who both have celiacs. Mm -hmm. And he had heard that we offer gluten-free. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's very important to us. Right. And told him what we had available. Mm -hmm. And he was so excited to be able to take his girls out to dinner and know that they wouldn't get sick afterward. Mm -hmm. And, th you know, it just was really quite special Great. you know that he could bring his girls and have dinner and know that they you know we wouldn't we took they'd it seriously good basically they'd yeah, have a good experience right. with eating there's a lot of people that's what they said other places though you know the kids could kind of cross pollinated on different surfaces but we really i mean honest, as soon as it happens immediately like i watched my guy this morning a lady ordered an omelet with gluten-free toast and immediately gloves come off new ones go on and they started working you know and oh yeah so it's perfect yeah. but yeah. yeah well that's good that you're right. able to do that because I remember somebody uh, told us one time that he had been running a bakery at one time, mm -hmm. and we asked if he did gluten-free baking, and he said no, he didn't because it would be too hard to, right. you know, keep mm -hmm. the uh, gluten from contaminating right. the other things. So we have a Maybe few gluten-free options yeah, we that we purchase yeah. that oh. come in. So we oh. have a gluten-free chocolate chip, chocolate chunk, chocolate muffin. It's oh, quite okay. delicious, actually, the but they come, it yeah, the, it comes individually wrapped. So there's no way. So there's get, no way, you know, and we don't bake them in-house. They just come right. already baked, oh. but we've sourced them from a this great is, This bakery. is from a gluten-free bakery. Yes, yes. That yes. They specialize right. in gluten-free gluten -free, bakery. Gluten-free, right. Goods. And okay. gluten-free pastas we get, we order into, and when if we any pasta dish that we have on the menu, you can get gluten-free as well because we just make it when it's when you order it, we put get a separate pan and boil the water and make the pasta. Mm -hmm. it takes a few more minutes, but it's worth mm -hmm. it to have that yeah. option. Yeah. A lot and of restaurants wouldn't want to be bothered with uh, having to do it separately. Yeah. I mean, it's like that's what my chef work. told. My chef said it perfectly the one day because I told him I don't care. We're doing this because I want to make sure everybody's inclusive, especially around here. There's a lot of people that were interested in this, so right. I want to make sure that they can be taken care of and be a part of this too. And people are grateful when you can do that, and they tell their friends and family, and it's just good. But he said. It's kind of a pain for us to have to do this, but think about how much worse it is for the person that requires that. That can't, yeah. they, can't they can't just enjoy out. a sandwich, yeah. you know, at no. any place or whatever. No. So, yeah. so it's no. much. It feels good to be able to provide that for the people that need that, you know, because mm -hmm. it, it gives yeah. them an option. It feels good about it. Well, with me being vegan, um, I appreciate a restaurant uh, where I can get a vegan option. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Today, just this morning. I had a gal call and ask about reservations for dinner, and she's a vegan, uh -huh. and she asked about pasta. And I hadn't f thought pasta's made with eggs. Well, it depends. So, it depends. But uh, she, you can get she, you can get pasta that's just chickpea. The flour. Well, you can get some that's just. No wait. We're we're, yeah. we're t are we talking about vegan? No vegan. vegan. Pa yeah. yeah. Vegan pasta. Um, you can get. Um, 
pasta that's just whole wheat flour and water is all it's right. made so of. Right. So we, yeah. you know, I have to. I said our chef, my chef isn't here right now for me to no. consult with him to see, and um, we, you know, spoke a little bit. Sure. But that's you know to add more things to our vegan menu. It's, right you know, important to us too. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's, again, that's, you know, you get, there's one lady said that, she's in a group, that's the vegan group around here, and she said, I have a whole bunch of friends that, well, this is what we do, is we look for places, and once we find one, we all go there because we have that option. So, you know, the more that there's interest, the more that we'll provide, sure. you know, yeah. for people, so. But yeah, that's a that's the good thing too. Is a lot of it's common sense. Like we run things, we run the kitchen. A lot of people they get you know some they they they're not necessarily there. The owners aren't necessarily there all the time running things. And some of the younger people that are maybe are there don't want to take the time to do these things. And I think for us, I'm there, Karen's there, or I have my chef Eric there. Yeah, we're all invested in this, and we want to make sure that it's always the way that it needs to be. So. So there's a little bit more care, I think, in our place than there is. So not every, I mean, there's a lot of places owners work. I don't want to discredit any other place. But, um, but that's, what, you know, I just feel like we have that personal touch to make sure that it's going to be done right so that way the outcome's a little bit better for, for people. You know? yeah. yeah. Another place that has uh, vegan options is uh, that Full Strength Coffee over mm -hmm. in Westfield. They're only open for... Um, breakfast and lunch though okay. I think they close like at two in the afternoon okay. mm -hmm. yeah. but you said that you have dinners on Friday uh, Thursday Thursday, yep. Friday. Thursday mm -hmm. Friday Saturday we do dinner yep. okay you know, and if it okay. you know maybe the need in the in the summertime we may add, add some days, we'll add some days for dinner mm -hmm. you, know? So, you know it's, it's all about the you know yeah the how can we serve response? the community better and if yeah. there's a need and we're there then if, if yeah. we are able to you know accommodate for that yeah we're one thing I really wanted to make sure to bring up while you're here today um, is a couple of weeks ago you were selling raffle tickets, uh, something about getting a service dog for somebody. Yes, so um, one of my colleagues from the Warren Philharmonic has a client who qualified for a service dog and the dog cost $20,000. Wow. So my colleague Mandy came to me and asked if I would be interested in helping facilitate a fundraiser. And we have a lot of musical friends. So mm -hmm. we reached out to them and asked if they would come and play music in, in our restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we, we, that was the original thing. We were just gonna have live music all day and whatever tip money was raised by the musicians would be donated to the service dog. And I was sharing that we were gonna do this with one of our customers, and she said, oh my gosh, we should do a Chinese auction. People love to do that, like a basket raffle. Mm -hmm. She said, I'll donate something. And then someone overheard her saying that to me, and they're like, well, what is that? I'll donate something. Mm -hmm. So then I just asked around, and the local businesses chipped in. The dentist put a music for your teeth basket together. Oh. And some of the local places, um, Mayberry yeah. Jungle across the street donated a plant. Um, the craft store donated a gift certificate. So just donations, the hardware store did a bucket. Um, mm -hmm. And then we did a, we raised money in that capacity of selling tickets to raffle off these baskets. Sure. And we raised $809. Okay. Yep, and then there's two fellas in town that play often a guitar vocal duo. And the next day they were performing a big inlet. And Bob said, well, I'll take the poster and see if we can raise some more money. So he, at Big Inlet, and their customers, they had an open mic night, raised another $160. Mm -hmm. So he brought that money in and donated that graciously as well. So we raised $969 mm -hmm. to give toward mm -hmm. this service dog, yeah. which was really quite quite great. This will change this Do you this know of any night. other um, things that are going on towards uh, this? No, I'm not sure. We The dog is right. in the, the, it takes two years to train the dog. Wow. So we ho <laughs> we are hopeful in the fall to be able to, right before this um, weather changes where our porch is, um, has to be closed, to maybe do something outdoors on the patio yeah, do and do some more live and music. There's more people available yeah. as well. Yeah. But that's the so. thing. Yeah, that's what if we can do any. We're part of the community here now. Mm -hmm. We've been. We've talked with the mayor. We've talked with the county executive. We've talked with other businesses. We we want to all help. Like Mayville is like this beautiful resource. Every yeah. time I drive down the hill and look at the lake, I'm just like, it's like beautiful. It's, it's mm -hmm. so nice. So we want to help. Like be part of the community and do things that help people. Yeah, build you know, the here and you know downtown you know, area up. There's so much potential for Mayville. Right. You know, there we have the four seasons. There's something every right. season. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and if we can help people, we can. Uh, people, we're providing a service that people need and want. You know, people want to come here and stay. They have a restaurant. One of the best things we were, on the New Year's Eve party that we had, 
this one couple was from Nova Scotia, and they told us that they, they're moving to Mayville. They bought a house in Mayville because, for large part, because of our restaurant. They said, the Mayville's yeah, a beautiful can. house. Yeah. She said, don't diminish this. I'm not, I'm yeah. not. She said, we've looked all over the Northeast. We wanted to live on a lake. She said, but what you guys provide, the way you are, the coffee shop, the food quality, all these things. Their dog, as, they were, yeah, had we, their brought you know, their dog. brought their dog, summer, and we yeah. give the dog water. If you bring your dog to the restaurant out in the summertime, the patio. out on the patio, yep. we'll bring him water and they can have a little lunch as well. Um, and she said that that just, they felt like, like it was, Included it was like something a, that they yeah. would made it, so they wanted to be here, you know, so, but I think us bringing that and other places like there's Airbnbs that are kind of going in, there's different things that are going in to kind of bring right. people in, I think. Right. So we're, we want to be a part of all that, but we also, if there's somebody that needs help, we're going to be happy yeah, to, well, how to, can we help, to use, you know, you know right. yeah. Yeah. Right. to be, to provide yeah. a service for the community because that's, right. mm -hmm what it's all about really yeah the more everybody works together to to make to be a community and make it make things good the better off everybody is you know i think just like the the 70s group that gets together there i mean it's it's really important for people to keep those connections and get out of the house and enjoy like friendships and interactions and stuff so and we have a great place for them to do that so right. that's that's a lot of fun for us and my goal is really to make people feel like they're coming to our home you know i oh. we greet them they come as is well, if you're a business owner, it yeah. is your home. Right, right. it is yeah, our home. Pretty much so is, trust me. We, we live more than yeah. our home. <laughs> we live in Mayville yeah. and sleep in Bemis Point. So, yeah. yeah. But it, it's, that's important to make them feel welcome and um, as friends, not as guests. You know, come as a, come as a guest and leave as mm -hmm. a friend. Now so. about the this family from Nova Scotia, are they going to sell their home in Nova Scotia? I'm not really sure. They're are originally they? from there, yeah. Right. I don't... They, they bought a house in Mayville, uh -huh. and they're, they're fixing it up. I don't know that they're going to live here full-time yet. Yeah, they're not just, of retirement I age. I just, I just wondered about that. Yeah. I don't know if they were going to move here yeah, permanently. Sure. Yeah. We've, we've, we've met them a few times, and they've been really great people to talk to and be around. And they just said that, you know, they, we were all sitting at the end of the night talking, and they just said that we wanted to mention this. You guys are really providing, you know, something wonderful for the community. And it was a big determination on, on our choice. And I thought, wow, that's pretty neat, you know, so... It feels good because that's what it, that's the whole thing about doing what we're doing. We're doing the what the fun. This is really fun for me. This is what I've always wanted to do. I've done other things to make money throughout the years, but I really enjoy doing this, and so does she. She loves to entertain. So that's what we're getting is the gratification, the the, the that feeling of like making people's lives better and making people happy. Yeah, happy. You, you know, know and that's one place. of the things I always go out and check on people. You know, when I'm making food to make sure everybody's happy with what they got and everything's good and there's some people that have had a couple suggestions I'm happy to take that but it's it's really like satisfying to provide something to people that they really enjoy and they and they can't wait to get more of you know right. so it's exciting yeah. hmm. exciting for us but yeah I mean the quality of the food that's one of the things with us there too like I, said, I mentioned in the beginning but like every Everything that we do is just like trying to provide like what we've experienced other places too because we've traveled right. a lot. So we try to bring something. There's, I mean, there's people that have never had certain foods that we have on the menu, and the, the option is available now. It's pretty neat. You know, um, have you thought of adding anything uh, East Indian type food? Well, that's Definitely. funny that you should ask because we have a program right now that we're doing that's really fun. It's called Travel the World with Music for Your Mouth. Yep. And every month we select a different destination. And I, we have passports. You get a passport. You get your passport stamped. And on that day, it's the fourth Thursday of every month, we transform the dining room into that destination. Mm -hmm. And all the food from the kitchen is authentic from that whatever country. So okay, the first so month we did was Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. Our chef is Puerto Rican, so yeah. we wrote the menu in Spanish. We decorated the dining room like it was in Puerto Rico, and everything that came out of the kitchen, we the chef... We had mofongo, we had yeah. empanadas, we had um, a rum cake, we had a special rum drink that Poquito, we made. Poquito, yeah. Then, and then in, in February we did um, Louisiana, we did Mardi Gras, so we, we had jambalaya and gumbo and sh uh, mm -hmm. shrimp boil beignets. and we made the beignets and um, I made the king cake with the baby in it and all of that. We had hurricane drink specials. This month we're going to Africa. So this coming mm -hmm. Thursday, the 23rd, we'll feature not only the, the well, our dishwasher, Ailey, is from Togo, Africa. Oh, and I okay. have two nieces and a nephew from Ethiopia. But we're gonna do specifically Togo and Ethiopia, but also feature different things from mm -hmm. the whole continent mm -hmm. of Africa. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So we pick a different destination, yeah. and you so get next your. So next we'll be going to Asia somewhere. Yeah. We're definitely going to do India yeah. at some point. Next um, month we're going to go to Thailand. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. all the food. That's the thing is when we do the food, we bring we're bringing super. It's super authentic. Like every we're buying special ingredients. We're making everything exactly the way you would make it if you were from these places mm -hmm. because. Um, you, a lot of people are never going to have the option to try this stuff, you know. And everybody that's come to all these, the things that we've done so far, have said it's literally the best food they've ever eaten, and they never imagined, like they never have, would have had the opportunity to have. Some people are never going to Puerto Rico. Some people are never going to, you know, Africa. So, yeah. we're, but we're going to bring it here and make yeah. sure that we and do. A, yeah, he, a good job. going to play the jambé yeah. and sing mm -hmm. and talk mm -hmm. about his life in Togo. Mm -hmm. So yep. just to bring that opportunity to people mm -hmm. in Mayville, and it's it's really taken off. Mm -hmm. yeah. and the fun thing is, like we, it's it's a little gimmicky, maybe I don't know, but <laughs> I got passports and we fill mm -hmm. them out, and you get your passport stamped when you when mm -hmm. you come to that. And if you, we're going to do a little thing where if you participate in nine or more mm -hmm. of the destinations mm -hmm. at the end of the year, mm -hmm. you can submit your passport mm -hmm. to win a prize. So, well, which is kind of exciting. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, there had been for a few years down in Jamestown, there'd been an Indian restaurant. Oh, yeah. It that was people from India that owned it. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, uh, that would be where we would go yep. when. I used to all the time. When we, you know, were sure. in Jamestown mm -hmm. looking for a restaurant. Right. And um, I always used to order. Um, I always used to order their uh, breaded cauliflower, which was breaded with garbanzo bean flour right. and the Indian seasonings. Mm -hmm. Those were really, really yeah. good. Yeah, we love yeah. we, we love Indian food at home. I make Indian food all the time. I, uh -huh. We make our own naan bread. And a matter of fact, our our uh, flatbreads that we have at the restaurant that we make all of our different flatbread pizzas and even some veggie ones they're made from naan bread so mm -hmm. we use a naan bread that I is love crisps up so yeah. nice oh yeah I love it it crisps up real nice and it just is nice crunchy but good flavor and you know it's more it's healthier it's made with yogurt and stuff like that so so it's neat but um yeah so that's that's we're definitely gonna keep on introducing different things for sure like that oh Maybe good I'm glad to hear that um now, you brought in a, do you have it with oh, you? Oh, I have it over oh, on the yeah. table there. Oh, over there. Um, Jeff, could you bring him the t-shirt? Yeah, this is pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got you? an email uh -huh. and I thought, this, is, this might be a scam or something. And I was busy doing other things. So I said to Al, um, we got this email from America's Best Restaurants, something I don't, I don't know if he you know I asked him if he'd take time to look into right. it so he did and he said yeah this is this is legit like well, they yeah they asked heard for information about, about our business because they had heard about it and they were intrigued so I sent him an email describing a little bit about our background who we were what we were doing in town the fact that th there was almost nothing in town for a while and then we brought this new exciting thing to town and so then the producer asked us to to do a 30-minute interview with him we did a and zoom did like a, a zoom, zoom interview, interview and he said that, that his company, the main thing about America's Best Restaurants, which is what we've been invited to be a part of, they sent us a t-shirt. Um, the main thing about it is they're trying to find these small restaurants all around the country that are mom and pop places or small places that are super unique and provide really good quality food um, and don't really have the budget to go up against the big marketplaces like you know Olive Gardens and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the big so they're ones. trying to bring attention to these to places that are, that are very unique and have a good backstory and have like exceptional food so that local people or people that are traveling through places know the restaurants that they should go to. So after talking to him, he said we were exactly what they, what they were looking for. Yeah. And they don't usually come out this way, but they're going to the Buffalo Wing Festival in September. They're a big sponsor for that. So they said they'd like to do an episode for us where they're gonna come all day long and shoot um, um, stuff about our restaurant, interviews with us, with our chef. Um, and then they're going to air um, a one-hour video, and then there's going to be a couple skits that they're going to do with different things about us to help bring attention to our restaurant. Mm -hmm. Are they September going 5th. to interview some of the customers that yeah, are I'm there? Sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, so be, <laughs> yeah. they want to make sure that it was an open business day when they right. when they come, so that it'll. Yeah, and they're going to shoot all day. And they're gonna, yeah. They said it'll take about three or four weeks for editing and production, and then they'll have they'll have the show. So it'll be exciting. It's. Um, you know, it's really neat because I've watched a bunch of episodes of the places that they go and they're really cool, really unique places that have good, you know, good food that are like us, that stuff's from scratch. Like all the sauces that we make, we make from scratch. You know, we have special breads, we have the vegan, the gluten-free that we still make. I mean, 
you make it delicious no matter what you know you're you're, you're working with so um, just you know just the special places and that's what's exciting about us because that's what we're trying to bring is something that's unique and special and it's really great to be noticed the notice for that and mm -hmm. to have yeah. the opportunity. Well you'll definitely be noticed in that t-shirt <laughs> as yeah. bright yeah. as yeah. it right. is. Yeah. It is. Yep. <laughs> yep. And we've all, we also plan on getting some other shirts made. Where yep. we have and they want us to put their you know, America's Best Restaurant logo on our We can put it on the back of our, our shirts and then things. we can put our so, logo oh, on the front. Yeah. Okay. So we just okay. actually yesterday I just spoke with the some local graphic people, they're gonna do our t-shirts with our mm -hmm. logo. And we also got best of the best in Chautauqua County. Oh, so yeah. we were runner up for best coffee shop, best breakfast place, best dessert, no, best, best overall restaurant. restaurant, and then top five for best dessert. Mm -hmm. So we can put the best of the best Chautauqua County logo that was also. five months into it when they did that, and we ended up getting all those, that, that, you know, that notoriety, which is great because we really put the effort in right away and people noticed it quickly so we're looking forward to more of that and it's not just and that, that's you know necessarily notoriety is not necessarily what we're looking for but it's great to be recognized for the work that we're putting in because we really are just trying to provide a great service for people right yeah well you sound like hard workers yeah, yeah. well if it's worth doing it's right. you have to do it right it's you funny because the girls say that because i'm a big fella but they said when i'm in the kitchen i'm like flying around everywhere like this she's like i don't know how you do they'll be like i don't know how you move as fast as you do but you know i just <laughs> i love doing i'm having fun really mm -hmm. doing right. it and when it's over and i go home i'm a little bit exhausted there was one day i drove home and I tried to, I opened the door to my car and I actually fell asleep in the car because I was so <laughs> <In the> exhausted. <driveway. laughs> so yeah. luckily I made it home and then I woke up and I'm like, I have a bedroom right there, you know, but, um, so it's exhausting at times, but it's really fun to it uh, most of the time. Yeah. And we're really blessed. We have some great people that work oh, yeah. with us. So when we built a team, you know, my best job is being a mom. Mm -hmm. So I think the kids specifically that work for us, you know, I'm like the, mother hen of the group oh so okay. yeah okay. it's really important that we have like a family you know right. we we really treat our employees well and we expect a lot mm -hmm. well that's what so, eric our chef said to me a couple weeks ago he said you look you, you you treat people better than i've ever seen anybody treat people in a restaurant and i said yeah but you see i expect that type of level of um, have returned, you know, work ethic as well. So the people mm -hmm. that have been trouble for us, we've graciously, you know, we wish them luck. But yeah. the people that have come and worked hard for us, we're taking care of them, and we're running with the people that run yeah. with us. And we built a really you know, good I, team. Yeah, I believe in building people up more than breaking people down. So the more, you know, when people do a good job, you give them a pat on the back. When they don't, you let them know what they did wrong and how we're going to make it better next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people appreciate that, mm -hmm. and, and you get good responses from that. So. Yeah. Well, you have a smoothie bar. We do, oh, yeah. yeah okay. We do. We have tell a viewing audience do, about that. Um, yeah. Well, we have a, we do smoothies, boba tea, protein shakes, and then we're going to add a line called musicalities. Musicalities. Yeah, kind of a play on the musical thing with just different tea options. So smoothies, uh, we use all fresh and great frozen fruits. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, coconut so, milk. So the uh, musicalities are teas? Tea, yep. There'll be okay. different flavored of teas, different tea combinations. Um, you can add collagen, like for beauty teas. Um, there's vitamin, different vitamins you can add. So I'm, I'm just doing some research on how to incorporate teas mm -hmm. and not just hot brewed teas, but also like adding in these beneficial health things, vitamins, yeah. collagen. And that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to call them musicalities. Musicalities. Yeah. And the boba teas are really And boba, boba tea, tea is a really big thing right now. Boba tea? So boba tea. So boba is a, like a cooked tapioca, and it's like a pearl. And there's oh, also popping okay. pearls. So they're little juice ball pearls. And you use either green tea or black tea. And then there's a flavoring that you add to it. It's a milk tea. Mm -hmm. And it has these popping pearls or boba in the bottom. So they're called bubble teas or boba. It's boba. a big boba. Okay, yeah. I never heard that before. Yeah. yeah. That's a big thing with the kids now, yeah. especially in bigger very cities popular. and stuff. So. Very popular. Very yep. popular. Have you thought yeah. for your breakfasts, I'm not sure how this would work, um, where they call it overnight oats? Yes. So funny that mm. you should ask because I, prior to us opening the restaurant, I, I did that. You know, I would use um, chia seeds Right. And, yeah, right. and soak them in, in, actually I use protein shake and would soak them in there and then do fresh berries. So um, mm -hmm. that's the next thing. We're going to do you know, 
like you said, overnight oats or the chia seeds. Also, um, acai bowls in the summertime, I'm oh, going to incorporate okay. those. Ace with acai yeah, berries. Yeah, acai berries as a base. And then you can add granola or, you know, oats, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. different flavors, fresh fruits. Because we've so. done the overnight oats at home, yeah. uh, you know, with raisins, uh, with the chia seeds and mm -hmm. raisins, yeah. and uh, the almond milk, yeah. and um, and then when it was time to eat it, I kind of cut up a banana into yeah. really itty bitty pieces and stirred it in, and mm -hmm. and bananas. Uh, are something you can use for a sweetener, right? right. And, and honey and things. Yeah, honey is yeah. a nice sweetener. Yeah. As well. No, that's like Maple everything. Syrup. We started out small, and as we get good at it, we keep adding more things. And as there's a demand for it, then we'll continue to add things too. So, so that's some. She's she's that's her um, wheelhouse there with the yeah. with the bowls and yeah. all that other stuff. But we're gonna but, add. Yeah. We're gonna do boozy boba drinks so we can add we have a full liquor license now oh um, do you yeah, really we do so beer wine yeah. and liquor so we can that's kind of a fun for a party not thing for kids, though, yeah not for kids no 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 no, oh, no, no. Of course yeah. not. um good, yeah. and um some yeah. of our staff has said we should do boozy milkshakes so and i know one of our my daughters uh, lives in savannah and they have a place that does boozy milkshakes it's kind of a fun thing so mm. just something different mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so yeah, I mean, if that's what people want something, then we're gonna provide it, and we'll try to make it the best possible. And if it doesn't work, then we'll yeah. move on to the next thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. Yeah. The only thing with the overnight oats is, I guess you have to do it the night before. Night before. Before, right. mm -hmm. and you have to have a pretty good idea how many how people many? are right. gonna want it. Right. Yeah, that's the tricky thing. Yeah. Too. yeah that's that's the tricky part. Yeah. 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 But you, that's something you develop. So you do it. You know, we work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We have to do dinners. So they could definitely do that before they leave, and then. You try, then you see what the demand is. If it doesn't work for a few weeks, then you decide then it's probably not the thing for us. But if it does, if, you know, if it develops right. a following, then you know it's like I made corned beef hash from scratch. The first couple of weeks, we sold one or two. Now I'm selling eight to ten a week. So, you know, just uh, it all it all depends on you know some things catch on, some things yeah, don't. Yeah. Um did you do that because of St. Patrick's Day? Or no, no? I, so I used to travel everywhere for work when I got out of the military. And, and uh, one of the places I was at is in Maine. And when I was in Maine, I was there for about a year in Belfast. And outside, about an hour and a half from there, two hours from there, there was a little place that used to call the Purple Cow. And they made corned beef hash from scratch. So I would drive there on the weekend, two hours each way for breakfast because I had nothing else to do. <laughs> and I would eat this. So when I, when I started this, I didn't do it right away. But um, but once we start, we shred our own potatoes. We cut up, or we make our own corned beef now. We cut it all up with veggies and all kinds of stuff in there, and it's just something that's unique and good. You know, like the gravy. Like I make a biscuits and gravy that when I was living in Georgia, I was someone taught me. It was my friend's mom taught me how to make it, and now I brought it back here. And it's just stuff that you just can't get. Like there's nowhere around here. That right, you get, right. You get I those remember things. the first yeah. day he. I don't. I don't like meat a lot. I'm not a vegetarian, but I prefer more of a vegetable option but the one day the kitchen smelled well, every amazing time I, much, like, what I said making? what are you making he said I'm just trying to corn beef yeah. and then 10 minutes later this fella came in off the street and it was he said what are you what's going on in that kitchen I said well my husband's throwing together some corned beef he said, get me a cup of coffee. I'm going to sit at that table. Whenever it's ready, you bring me some over. He was going to wait as yeah, long he went, as he, he had. Didn't care. <laughs> Pretty soon, he called three of his buddies, and there was a four top. And I, I went over, and I you know, told him, and they're like, we're waiting until that corned beef is ready. We're going to sit here and drink coffee till it's ready. So it was so right. funny. He came in off the street because he could smell it outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. so it's been a great People well, love it. They love it. And that's the thing too is people come from all around to come here, especially in the summer. So they they get excited when they see an option that they can't get because they're not, you know. So yeah, like we had a couple mm -hmm. that travel a lot, and she, the woman, loves shrimp scampi. Mm -hmm. She said her favorite place was uh, on the coast of Italy. There was a restaurant yeah, that they the ocean, yep, yeah, that the they, Mediterranean Sea. Yep, season. that and she loved the shrimp scampi, yeah. and she said, "I thought theirs was the best until I had this one." My second said, this is, you know, I thought, wow, that's this a pretty is good guy. better yeah. than theirs. And that was quite a compliment. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now about your dinners that you have the three evenings a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are there vegan options yes. at that? Yeah. Yes. We have a pesto primavera. Yeah. That we make um, without cheese specifically. He makes the pesto separate and if he you know if he, do, he will add parmesan if someone wants it or if he makes it for just someone that's not asking for a vegan option but if you want a vegan option that is an option for sure okay. um, yeah some people um, 
We have mahi tacos. I know that that's mahi. Yeah, so that's vegetarian, not vegan. Um, no, vegan. The main one we have is just that we do the sandwich again, yeah. the Mediterranean sandwich. The Mediterranean with the portobello um, mushroom. Yeah. Well, you can get but that if you're for there for supper. Like. So, yeah, yes. that's, yeah. that's we added that to our dinner menu just because. And then we do the pesto primavera right now, and that's our two main vegan options for dinner time. But, yeah. And then, of course, anybody that's not vegan, I mean, there's steak and lobster, and there's we have a really nice. She did, we call it the Red Baron. Karen actually has a private pilot's license. The Red license. Baron. Karen. Yeah, Red Baron. Yeah. That's I'm Karen Red, Red Baron because I have my private pilot's license. So oh, do so, you yeah. really? Yeah. So you, we you can fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she we call it the Red time, Red Baron chicken sandwich. Right. Okay, so, so y you don't mean a commercial airline. No, no. Right? I have my pri just, just my private pilot. A single mm -hmm. engine, less than 200 horsepower. Okay. And that's okay. actually how we connected because I'm a, I am have an A&P license. When I got out of the military, I have a license to work on airplanes. So oh, okay. We kind of had a mutual okay. like love of that. Aviation, and, yeah. And then we had... So, so you had a lot in common is mm -hmm. how you wound up falling in love yeah. with each other, right? right? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, my travel sure. buddy. <laughs> yeah, we love to travel. That's for sure. We don't do it very much anymore because yeah, we're anymore. so busy working. But, right. but yeah, we, we, used to, we used to about every two months we'd go somewhere, you mm -hmm. know, and we... Now we still we've gone a couple of times. We're going in two weeks again, <clears throat> but our restaurant we got we got to figure it out where the chef's going to take care of things for us and everything will be good while we're gone. So it'll oh be really? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you have staff that you know is going to do a good job yeah. for you yeah. while yeah. you're yes. gone. We've mm -hmm. trained them up and we've given them the. We've enabled them to, or we've given them the, the reins and said, you know, if you guys take care of us, we'll take care of you, and they're doing it. I they're think doing a good trust job. is a really important thing. They trust us that we're going to provide a good work environment for them, and we can trust them to do good work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, the girls uh, uh, that I've met that work for you, the times that I've been in, they do seem very friendly. Yeah, right. that's really important. Well, that's a prerequisite us. for us. I tell everybody, you have to be. If you're going to work up front, you have to be welcoming. You have to be, you know, happy, presentable, and just you know make people feel comfortable. When they walk through the door, welcome them in. You mm -hmm. know, and most and that's the thing is the people that we've interviewed, we found the people with those personalities, and, and that's it worked out great. And again, they've loved. You know, people, they love working here because of the way we treat them, and they put that effort forth a little more to try to keep that relationship going, you know, so yeah. it's nice. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's good. It's exciting. Yeah, it's, we're this, it, it's exciting to see where this will go, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. We had one of our guests that um, is from the institution that did a lot of things for us. You know, yeah, she, yeah. she called and said, um, I, have this, I have this opportunity to get a uh, coffee table that's shaped like a piano. Mm -hmm. Will it fit? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> so she gifted us that and well, just Car different her name's things. So Carolyn, Caroline. this is her name. And she's she's yeah. the nicest lady. Um, she, she's from the I've institution. People know her as um, the bat lady because she's into oh, Yeah, bats. Caroline. I know you know her. her. Sure you yeah. know. Oh, she, I know her. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, she, there was, are you familiar with the Greystone Nature oh, yeah, Preserve? Yeah. They had an event out there maybe approximately five years ago okay. or something like that. Yeah. And uh, it was a bat bird and um, butterfly event and uh, she was there and she gave a really good oh, talk. Oh, she's on fascinating. On she sends us pictures of the bats that have been saved and different yeah. things like that all the time. Actually, I've kind of approached her a couple of times about being on Fresh Perspectives, but I haven't been able I'll to get her to I'll put a little bug in her ear. I'll put a little yeah, bat in her ear. Quite close. <laughs> well, she came in and I'm and telling you, I don't know, I fell fast in love mm -hmm. with her. We just connected mm -hmm. like nothing else, mm -hmm. and she she's been our been PR manager. Oh, yeah. So oh, she yeah. she yeah. she's good with us. Well, she says yeah. that she with goes to a lot of nice places, and we always, whenever she comes, she asks for things a certain way, and it always comes out exactly the way she yeah. asks. And she said that's hard to find, you know. So it's really nice. Yeah. So yeah. she she's been a good mm -hmm. PR person for us, and been very. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There was a couple of speakers at that event that were talking about bats, and now you know I have always been afraid of bats mm -hmm. since I was a, a little girl. A lot of people girl. are, mm -hmm. but you know it really did help me to hear those talks. Sure, yeah. yeah. You know that it it really uh, they helped me to th think and realize mm -hmm. that. Bats aren't really as dangerous mm -hmm. as right. people think they are. Right, fresh perspective, right? Well, well you know. yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's like with, in my case as an adult, being afraid of them, it's because somewhere along the line I've heard that bats can get rabies. Right. So, um, 
so anyway, I, I don't appreciate it when one gets in my house. No. But, no. <laughs> right. You know. Call well, Caroline. Do, she'll, yeah. she'll help you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do the yeah. serve a purpose and everything in there. And, you know, and she's... But she's actually helped provide more perspective for us, too, because we had an issue with we had a lot of bats at our house, and we were able to figure out a solution to, you know, Keep help, them them from move, coming in. help them move <laughs> somewhere else to find a new location. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, Carolyn, she's done a lot to help us. She's very nice, and, um, and she's really, I mean, that's the thing is, like she said, and a lot of other people that have been there, is that what we have to offer is so unique and good that they want to make sure we're going to be around here for a long time, so mm -hmm. they're really, they do a lot to help. Make sure just to make know. sure you don't leave. No, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, or quit, or just quit, even, no. even no. if you. Yeah, there's you know. no, there's no quitting. This, <laughs> this, this, we're not quitters. We're in it for <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe um, now my husband and I, we've kind, of, we've gotten away from doing it. We're in our seventies now, for one thing, but. Um, it had gotten, we had, uh, we had a few beehives of our own for almost 30 years. And, oh, wow. You know, the bees have been having so much trouble yeah. in recent years yes. that we have just had to kind of, the last time, this la one time, uh, I think it was a few years ago, they uh, didn't even make it into the winter, let alone through the winter. Oh. And we just haven't uh, tried to get started right. up again. But that, that's another thing besides the bats, birds, and butterflies right, is, yeah. is the bees. bees it's all yeah. part of the whole circle, you know, everything yep. works together. So, so that's I neat. know, but I know. Yeah. So yeah. We're going to be in serious trouble if uh, the pollinating insects oh my gosh, yes. all die off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fruit and vegetables, everything. I mean, that's a, it's a big part. It should be. It's got to be a big part of everything, and you've got to have mm -hmm. all that to make it work for sure. Yeah, we yeah. need to... Uh, uh, we need to encourage people to stop using pesticides yeah. and weed right. killers yeah, and right. things. That'll well, that's kill. what we've been, but not just to go, you know, circle back, but that's one of the big things about our restaurant is we want to have organic. We want to have, like, the breads we get are organic, non-GMO. Mm -hmm. If anything says it's genetically modified, it's not in our kitchen. We right. don't, I don't mess with it. I don't well, want, that's the same you know, with me at yeah. home. Yeah. You right, know, right. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm very picky. Yep, so. and you gotta be. I mean, the stuff that they're putting in. I mean, there's there's no reason that the chicken should be this. You know, you know, oh, there's, no. there's no. certain right. things that right. you absolutely. know. I mean, there's just not. it just doesn't. So we're we're big on making sure that that's a part of our planning is that we use products that are that are being you know grown and that are being raised you know responsibly and not with all this extra junk in them. So, so that's the, I mean, the meat, the most of the meat we, we serve in our restaurant, we cook ourselves, the sandwich meat and everything. I mean, and the ones we don't are no nitrates. The only thing I couldn't get without nitrates was pepperoni. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything else is nitrate-free, minimally processed, really good quality stuff. And we can do that because we keep track of what we use. So it's always coming in fresh. We have three different suppliers that I get different things from different suppliers to make sure. But that's a big part of it because people don't, I mean, most places you go, restaurants are getting, Stuff that just is inexpensive, and because it's easier for mm -hmm. them to put to mm -hmm. make money on the product. Mm -hmm. But I think if we're more, if we get the better quality food, people are going to appreciate that mm -hmm. more and want to come to mm -hmm. our place because of yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, uh, I know a certain amount of restaurants just order their yeah. their like their desserts. Yep. You know, so they don't make right. them themselves. Right. Well, I hate to say it because yeah. we've been having a lot of fun getting acquainted with what? each other yeah. better. Uh, but we've come to the end of another episode of Fresh Perspectives, and I want to say thank you again for appearing today. My pleasure. Well, thank you, Gail. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. And I'll see those of you in the viewing audience on the next episode. Yeah.